getting deeper in the IHSA playoffs as we enter round number two. Neuqua Valley and Naperville Central are the two local teams in the final 16 teams hunting for the 8A state championship. When the playoff games move to Saturday, you know things are getting serious. Let's get to the second round action. The first game of the day features the top ranked team in the state, Loyola Academy, on the road at Naperville Central. The Red Hawks knocked off the Ramblers to win the 2013 state championship. Loyola is a tough matchup for anyone, but Central hopes to build off last week's big win over Naperville North. The Ramblers show early on just how talented their roster is as James Crutes darts into the end zone for the second time in the game, Loyola leading 14-0 at the end of the first quarter. More Loyola as Jake Stearney finds a wide open Danny Collins in the end zone, the Ramblers up 26-0 at this point. The Red Hawks get on the board in the third quarter as Tristan Hall runs one in from a yard out, but it's too little too late as Loyola moves on to face Lincoln Way East in the quarterfinals after a 36-7 win. Naperville Central ends the year 7-4 after a strong first season under head coach Mike Ulrich. In our second round two playoff game, Neuqua Valley, the number three overall seed in Class 8A, is on the road at Palatine for this matchup. The Wildcats crushed Bartlett a week ago, while the Pirates took down Taft in a first round upset. The Wildcats leading 7-0 after a Mark Menneke touchdown run. The NV quarterback then drops a screen to Jaden McGee, who takes it 41 yards down the sidelines for the touchdown. Neuqua Valley feeling good, up 17-0 at halftime. After a scoreless third quarter, Menneke rolls left and finds Carter Sessa for the diving grab in the corner of the end zone. Wildcats push the lead to 24-0. Another outstanding performance from both sides of the ball. Neuqua Valley moves on to the quarterfinals for the third time in school history and for the first time since 2013 after the 31-8 win. So that leaves one local team remaining after round two of the playoffs, Neuqua Valley hosting Maine South in the quarterfinal round next Saturday. The winner of that game will move on to the semifinals to face the winner of Glenbrook South and Marist. And with only one team left, that means this is the final edition of Football Friday for the 2021 season. We hope you enjoyed watching these past 11 weeks. It's been a lot of fun as always to put this wrap up together. Thanks to our great crew of sports reporters who film these games every week, and to our fantastic local teams, players, coaches, and parents. We'll see you next fall. For Football Friday, I'm Justin Cornwell.